Hello everyone. In today's session, we will see GitLab Docker Executor in practice. So here I have got two things. One is my host machine that is Linux Fedora machine and another one is my guest machine. So that is the uh, Manjaro uh, Linux OS. On my host machine, I am already in my GitLab repository. Here I have got .gitlab .yml file. It is a very simple CI CD pipeline where I am using Docker testing GitLab runner. So the runner having Docker testing tag, I am using that particular GitLab runner and then uh, a simple script which will execute Python command of import time then it will wait for 10 minutes and then it will print done. So uh, let me just change it. So instead of print done, I will say print hello world. Okay. Now on my guest machine, first I will check if I have all the prerequisite to work with Docker executor or not. So I will check if Docker has been installed on my guest machine or not. So yes, uh, Docker has been installed. Then uh, GitLab runner, I have already installed and registered with Docker executor. Then uh, I have got config.tml file. So it is available at etc GitLab runner config.tml location. So over here, as I have mentioned, I have registered GitLab runner with Docker executor. This builds directory. So it's just the name of the directory where we want to mount the GitLab repository volume. If you are not going to provide this name, the default directory name will be builds. So it's fine if you are providing it and it's also fine if you are not providing it. Then I am using the default image of Python that is Python latest. So as I have mentioned, these configurations are universal. So all the GitLab pipelines using this particular GitLab runner will have access of Python Docker image as default. Next thing I will do is I will check if my Docker instance is running or not. Okay, so you can see that right now it is in inactive state. So I need to start it. sudo systemctl start docker. Okay, now if I see the status of docker, so it's active and running. Next thing I will check is if GitLab runner is running or not. So you can see that GitLab server is sorry, GitLab runner is not running. So I will start the GitLab runner. Okay, and now if I check GitLab runner status, then you can see that service is running. Okay, uh, for this session, I have removed all the Docker images. So we will check if any images is, are available or not. So uh, as I have mentioned, I have removed all the Docker images. We will also check if any container is running or not. So, okay, no Docker container is running at present. So neither any image nor any Docker container at present are available in the Docker repository. In case Docker has not been installed on your guest system where you want to deploy the CI CD pipeline or Docker service is not running. In that case, you will get the error when CI CD pipeline will execute. This error will look like this. So the error will be like this fail to remove network for build cannot connect to the tap, cannot connect to the Docker daemon. Okay. So this error will arise in case Docker instance is not running or not installed on the guest system. Now, as I have made the changes in my 
GitLab repository, I will push the code. Okay, so as soon as I have pushed the changes to the GitLab repository, my uh, pipeline will start to be processed. Okay, so you can see that my GitLab CICD pipeline is running at present. So preparing the Docker executor and using uh, Docker executor with image Python latest. So let's see what's going on on my guest OS. So as I have mentioned in my theoretical video that it will first fetch GitLab runner helper image. So right now we have got this image GitLab runner helper from Docker Hub. Once we have got the GitLab runner helper image from Docker Hub, it will pull or clone the GitLab repository under volumes folder of Docker. So let's see that. Okay, over here, I need to go to uh, volumes. Okay, so over here, uh, so uh, this will be the folder where my GitLab repository will be pulled or cloned. Again, uh, 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 within this folder, we have this common folder data and in that you can see that uh, this is GitLab uh, demo GitLab runner. So this is the uh, repository name. Okay, so you can see that once we have got GitLab runner helper image from the Docker, it will pull or clone the GitLab repository under the uh, volumes folder of Docker. You can see on the screen that I have got my demo GitLab runner repository under this volumes folder. Now let's check uh, the status of uh, Python image. Okay, so I have got uh, Python image as well now. So next thing is, let's check about the container. You can see that uh, this is the container right now it's running. We will check again. Yeah, so this is the container right now uh, being executed by the Docker. So we will open this container to Docker execute it okay so as you can see the docker container will by default open in the bash mode so this is the uh, bash mode in which i have executed the already running uh, docker container if i check uh, i have got this home nine folder that i have mentioned in my config.toml file now if i check under this home nine folder i have got this ci cd folder name and again, my uh, demo GitLab runner, GitLab repository. So my all the folders and files of GitLab repository are available over here. And now, uh, as I have put uh, 10 minutes sleep time, so after the 10 minute, final command of print hello world will be executed. If I have not mentioned this name home nine in my config.tml file then then this name would have been builds and within that builds folder i would have got this cicd 21 folder and within that cicd 21 folder i would have got demo gitlab runner gitlab repository so uh, let's see uh, like uh, what is going on uh, on uh, the gitlab site so as I have told that it will wait for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes print hello world command will be executed. Okay, as you can see uh, now it has printed hello world. So let's see uh, it guest machine what has happened. Now as you can see that once the GitLab CI CD pipeline has been completed all the containers which were there has been removed. So right now there is no Docker container running at present. And if we see the images, so the images are there, GitLab runner helper and Python. So this is how a simple CI CD pipeline will work with the help of Docker executor. That's it for the day. Thank you everyone for watching this video.